السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر ناصر بول رہا ہوں کیسے ہیں آپ لوگ ایوری تھنگ از فائن اوکے سو ان ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویری ڈیفیکلٹ ٹاپک ان دا سینس دیٹ جنرلی اسپیکنگ پیپل تھنک دیٹ وہ کیب از سم تھنگ دیٹ نیڈ ٹو بی روٹیڈ کرائمڈ اٹس اے مس کانسیپٹ ایکچولی دس لیکچر از بیسکلی فار دو اسٹوڈنٹس ہو وانٹ ٹو اپیئر ان کمپیریٹو ایگزامس اور ان ڈفرینٹ اینٹی ٹیسٹ ایگزامس اوکے In, in most of the exams, vocab, the portion of vocab is a very heavy portion. Sometimes it's up 20 marks, 25 marks. In some cases, it's up 30 marks. Right? So the tests have NAST, GIK, MVCAT, GRE, SAT1. In all these tests, vocab is always there. Okay? So to an extent, it's fine to say that vocab is something that needs to be crammed. But it's a misconcept in the sense that it... vocab can somehow be understood. Suppose you take any word. Let's start with something. Suppose there is a word mug. So we cannot say mug means this thing or mug means that. It depends on the very sense of it, right? Suppose in one sense mug is your sort of short, right? You might have heard the word mug short. Mug short stands for sort of right short of your face. They say, we just need a mug short. Okay, so over here mug means something like this. Okay. In routine, we sometimes say that mug as verb. And then we followed by up. People say, yeah, please don't mug it up. Don't mug up things. That means that please don't cram things. Don't rot things. If you Right, memorize something to dress mugging up. So it means over here mug means something different. So if you change this word a bit, suppose if you add something like S before mug, smug. So it's a new word. Right? Smug you might have heard, smug is a person who thinks that he or she is something very special. Some people think that they are very competent, they are very genius, they are very handsome. So they are smugs. Self-satisfied people. So it is something bad. Okay. If you alter this word a bit, it would become smugness. If smug means that person, smugness means that state. So suppose I say, yeah, you are just nothing. It is your smugness that you think that you are something very special. Khush family like thing. Are you getting? So, If you suppose, take any other word, a simple word, ray. Ray, all of you know, ray of hope or something. Okay. If we change this word a bit, suppose we add F before R, it would become fray. Fray, you might have heard, fray means to, to become a bit, right, poor in condition. Suppose here your clothes have become a bit frayed. In Punjabi road, we call it. Ghis jana, something like that, right? So, fray over here means to become a bit distorted. If you just change it a bit, if you say bray. Bray, you might have heard the way, right, donkeys do, the very right sound or sound, voice of donkeys called brain. If someone brays, that means that to talk stupidly, talk in a very stupid fashion without any right sense of the stop brain, we don't talk nonsensically. So it means that words can be understood somehow if we just want. Okay, you just take any other example. Suppose you take the word alleviate. Alleviate stands for to make something soft. If you say, suppose you say okay, people are still trying to alleviate the situation. It means they are trying to control that thing somehow. Alleviate means to soften. So if you find some Parallel of alleviate, like it can be a very simple word is soften to make something soft. Okay? Or you might have heard the word mitigate. Mitigate basically means to reduce the intensity of something. If you say, Alhamdulillah, the situation has mitigated a bit, it has softened, it has improved a bit. So, there are parallel words. Similarly, there is a word assuage. Asphage means the same as to soften, to, to make something soft. They are almost the same, if not 100% the same. 
there is a word placket. Placket is to once again to reduce the intensity of something. If you say, yeah, do you think there is any chance of placation? Placation means improvement in positive sense. To placket means to soften something. Okay. Appease is a very common word that has the same meaning, appease. Appease means to to mollify, to soften, right. People say Alhamdulillah things have finally appeased somehow, right. So, it means words can be understood, they do not need to be rotated. What happens sometimes, words are very simple, but their use is a bit stylish. Suppose you take the example of fan or air or doctor. Or engineer. All of you have heard these words, right? They are very common words, but sometimes they use actually makes them stylish or bad. If I say, okay, or whatever I have told you, please don't fan it. If I say, please don't fan it. So, what do you think? Over here, fan has become a verb. It has become a verb and it means to spread something, to spread something. If I say please do not find it, that means please do not tell it, this thing to anyone, okay, keep it to yourself. So, what in exam something they say, okay, point out what the word fan is being used as noun, as sort of verb, adjective or what, to actually over here it is a sort of verb. Similarly, air is a very common word, if someone says who has aired it who has aired it. It means who has actually made this thing out, right? Who has given hawa to this thing? So, if I say please do not air it, it means do not reveal it to anyone, keep it to yourself, okay? Doctor, a very simple word, a very common word, but sometimes we say doctors need to be doctored. So, doctor over here means to control something. Right? To control something. Doctors must be doctored. It means doctor must be controlled somehow. Okay? So, over here the word doctor is not being used as noun, it is being used as verb. Engineer. Engineer in routine is a noun, but sometimes we use the word engineer in the sense of verb. If I say, the thing is how you engineer a thing, how you engineer your engineers. It means how do you manage that thing, how do you control that thing, something like this. Clear? So, same is the case with police. Police is a very common word, but in routine police is used as noun. But somebody says the, uh, the biggest problem here in Pakistan is how to police the police. How to police the police means how to control the police. So, it is very sad, but how to police the police. It means how to control the police. The first word is being used as verb and the second is used as noun as per routine. Are you getting? It means words have no meanings. In my book English with a difference, I have discussed all these things in detail, right? Right? If you English with a difference, so vocab and different parts of grammar and everything. So the main thing is try to understand things instead of right rotating. Suppose you if you just as I have just said understand to in routine we use the word understand any parallel word of understand can you guess any other word that can be used in that sense. Suppose if you are getting right people say are you getting are you following do you understand to any other word to express the same idea. Yes think for a while. If I say, yeah, actually I am not being able to grasp. To grasp means what? Grasp means to, to understand something. So, little meaning is to hold something like this. So, if I am not being able to grasp, it means I am not being able to understand whatever you are saying, okay? Clutch, all of you <laughs> use the word clutch, right? There is something wrong with the clutch. But sometimes we use the word clutch as verb. It means 
are you being able to clutch it? It means are you getting it? Are you following? Do you understand? So, it means words have no meanings, words have actually different facets, different angles in depend on the you. Suppose you take a very simple word hack, a very common word, everyone knows this thing was hacked, that was hacked, he is a hacker, ok. So, it depends actually on the use of hack, right. Suppose, if I say place, I make some expressions, do not hack it, ok. If I say, look at his hack, ok. If I say, he was hired to death. The same hack is right. If I say, let us hack for some time. Okay. So, we cannot say hack in routine, all of you know means to steal something right. People say, my friend has become a hacker. So, hackers most of them are very genius sort of people, <laughs> whether this is something good or bad, it is another cup of tea. So, hack in routine means to steal, but over here suppose I say do not hack it. In its routine sense it means please do not steal it, but suppose if you are cracking some joke, Amanullah said this, this is, you repeat that thing once, twice, three, if you say please do not hack it, so it means yeah, stop it. Hack means to repeat something so much that the very taste of that thing is lost. If I say please do not hack it, it means yeah, stop it, ok. So, hack sometimes a noun means a very deep wound, right. Suppose some doctor says look at his hack, so he is referring to that wound, very deep wound, zakhm like thing. Or hack over here is being used as verb. Hack means to kill someone brutally, right. He was hacked to death, it may, he was killed, right, with some axe or something that he was brutally killed. So, hack means to kill someone in a very, in a beastly fashion, ok. Hack sometimes is used for to go out for sort of relaxation. If I say let us hack for some time, so it means let us ride around, let us roam around, let us go out for some time. So, it is incorrect to say that this word has this meaning, words have no meanings, it depends on the very sense of the word that. Suppose a very common word, a very common word vulgar, right. All of us know it is a vulgar issue, it is something, but sometimes if I am very serious, I am serious, please yes, take it seriously, it is not a vulgar issue, it is a vulgar issue. So, the meaning is different. If I say it is not a vulgar issue, it is a vulgar issue. So, can you grasp a bit what is the meaning of this? It is a vulgar issue. So, over here I want to say it is not a vulgar issue, it is not something bad or obscene or something like that. It is a vulgar issue, it means the issue relating to masses, because vulgar in the second expression means to relating to masses. It is a vulgar issue, it means it is a awami masla. So, that is why sometimes from this vulgar we use the word vulgus. Vulgus in French is used for awam or masses. So, we cannot say this word has this meaning, we can say this word has this meaning, right, over here this is being used in this sense. So, words have different changes, different right tone, so we can play with words if, but it needs a little bit practice and so, let us just take this very simple word issue, even a sweeper knows that issue means issue, but if someone asks you, half is half, have you any issue? and he or she does not want to ask, have you any problem, he or she is referring to something different. So, that is issue basically means offspring, olad, bacha. If someone says, have you any issue, so he or she might be asking, have you any issue? It means, how many kids you have or have you any kid, issue here means kid. 
right? If I say I am issueless, I am issueless, so that does not mean that I have no issue, that means that I have no get, I am issueless. So, words have no meanings, words have different, I am issueless, it means I have no get. In simple word, it means beola. The purpose of all this is to develop the sense that words can be felt, right? They do not need to be cramped. So obviously, with little bit practice, one can go a long way. So for today, I think it's enough. Take care. Thank you very much. See you inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.